Hi, for this session of Ink My Scape, I love open source, I'm going to answer a question from somebody from the Facebook group. He's asking, hi, I'm trying to figure out the best method to round or belly the sides of a drawn shape. Triangle, square, whatever. No fillet the corners, but keep the corners where they are and make the shape puffy. Ideally, I'd like to be able to start with the shape of whatever size I want and adjust from there if I can. Thanks. So this is the drawing he made. It, it, it was a handmade drawing, so I'm going to get rid of the text. And um, so let's try and recreate this. First, start off. So he says uh, a rectangle, oh, no, a triangle. So I have a, a three cornered polygon. This is a triangle, so uh, I'm going to use Control to constrain it. Okay, and let's have a random shape just for the for fun and giggles. This is, I think, as random as it gets. It's all straight lines, I'm assuming. Yep, all straight lines now. So we have three basic shapes. And what we want to do is have like these balloonish sides. I think I first mis misunderstood his question and I, I, I pointed him in the way of having these thick lines with rounded sides. That's an easy one, so I'm going to quickly show this first. So if you have like a, a thick stroke, uh, you go to the fill and stroke. I, I double clicked here at the bottom and I'm getting this menu. I'm going to stroke style. I'm going to set this to 10 millimeters. Uh, I'm going to remove the fill, so you have like this. And then I'm going to put this, the style, so you have the joints are not sharp, not mitered, but round. And the caps, not no butts, no square caps, but round caps. So you see this is not so dif dif divisible here, but this is for line endings. Um, this is just a habit of mine. So now you have like this rounded shape. Imagine you want this... Uh, image to be the line to be in front of the color and you can change the order here but I prefer to have it like this but this is personal taste okay now I figured out this was not his question so what he wanted was to have like these lines become balloonish so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this object to a path because now it's like a polygon here the same because now you see it's it's, it's, a, it's a, a rectangle with its own properties path object to path and now what we can do is with the node tool just select the middle poof 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 as simple as that really simple this is what I call the fat finger approach it's just uh, quick and dirty not very accurate so again I'm going to select the image and I'm going to manually balloon all the uh, sides that I want. Imagine you want this one to be a little bit different, no problem. Uh, just a small side thought, so, for example here I, I created this bulb so it's, uh, it, should, it, it gives the impression of, of one line. So what I could do now to improve this is I select this node and I'm gonna just have it make sure that it's straight. So uh, for example this one is, is a, uh, you see this is a, a diamond, this is square, you have different shapes of nodes if, if it's round if you control click on it they automatically change to with different properties so this one is is sharp deliberately um so this is a way a way to approach uh, custom shapes the fat finger approach now obviously this is also the downside now exam imagine I'm gonna take the same thing and my fat finger is 
really I have like a my client would not be very happy if if if, if I deliver something like that because it's not symmetrical it doesn't even look symmetrical and this one also isn't symmetrical even even if I did my best because if I flip it horizontally you see the differences I just tap H to flip this one is not perfectly in the middle this, these are not identical so it's really hard to have them perfect but I think most of the time especially for artistic work this is the way to go because it's quick it's visual and it's quite easy now imagine you want to guarantee your sim symmetry I'm going to create a new triangle and get rid of this dolphin like thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do this one with, with, the, with, with the rectangle. What I can do is I can start off adding. So I selected all the nodes. I'm going to add an extra node. So everywhere, everywhere there's an extra node. I'm going to control click on it. So it becomes a flat shape. Can they go even different? And now I'm gonna so control click till I have the, the right property for my wanting. And I'm just using shift arrow to move them out. And now this is perfectly symmetrical. So if I flip it horizontally or vertically, you don't see a thing. I'm going to copy my properties from here. Control C, shift, control V. So if you flip it now, nothing to see. I'm going to show it by adding some dashes. You see, it is moving, but it's not changing. So I'm going to make it solid again. Um, yeah, so this is my approach, how I would do it. Of course, this one has the downside that you really have, you don't control the width of. So I'm going to make it symmetrical first. I could widen this a little bit. But this is again fat finger, of course, it's not programmatical, but and now I have like a nicer shape. You could make sure these distances are all fixed by adding uh, grid lines or uh, guidelines and then constraining a snap to snap to the guidelines and then you always have the same distances but this is like a uh, tweaking so this is one approach that i would suggest it's not something that you can do easily another approach would be to uh, just try to do it in a uh, fire in, in python and write a, a script but this is like re a really deep rabbit hole and i'm not familiar with it so if you google for uh, Inkscape scripting. It will have you, it will show you a, a wiki page, how to teach you how to write a script and how it works and how you could manage to, to create a script that does this for you. But this is way out of my league. Anyway, uh, good luck with it and uh, enjoy open source, enjoy Inkscape. Have a nice day.